hello hello everyone this is ziki here and i'm back with another video coming from china on our series introduction to china and today's story is trending on chinese social media and it happened in the province of Hainan. now listen i'm going to start by asking you a question would you stay in a hotel for the rest of your life for a year for a month anyway so this family of eight decided to leave the house to leave the apartment to leave everything the renting and everything to go and stay in a luxurious hotel you know they've been staying in this hotel for the past 229 days this is yesterday when i read the story so today let's just say 230 days staying in a hotel and you ask how much are they paying per day well they're paying 1000 rmb per day which amounts to about 30000 rmb per month with, which amounts to about 230,000 RNB for the past 230 days that they've stayed there, you know. So it's a, it's a lot of money, you know. It's a lot of money that can afford one to live in a very, very big, luxurious house, you know, freely, you know, by yourself. But they decided to stay in a hotel. So people were asking them, you know, on a, on a video that circulated on social media, as to why did they decide to stay in a hotel instead of just renting an apartment where everybody will have their own bedroom and everything because this amount of money is just a lot of money but they said well they decided to just have a different kind of lifestyle they love the way they are staying you know they love the way they are staying like that okay you know this is like uh it's a family of eight like i said there are also there's also grandpa and grandma involved you know among the, the family members who are staying in this hotel you know and it was circulated on social media so a lot of people you know chinese netizens were like we don't understand the logic behind it but the family is saying well they intend to stay in a hotel for the rest of their life they don't even want to move outside and they were asked like what is the reason they say well there's no reason we just want a different lifestyle so videos you know the video that was circulating showed me shows them you know eating together you know at hot luxurious hotels they give breakfast right dinner there maybe they have to look for the dinner themselves showers are there they said we don't need to pay electricity water is there warm water wi-fi parking is there again so they don't need to worry about parking the parking is there the water the electricity everything is just done for them all they need to do is just live their lives and then they said well don't worry about us we own properties we're actually very rich you know we are rich people we have the money to sustain our lifestyle okay they said they've got about six properties so they've got a lot of money that is always coming in all the time so they don't worry about paying 1000 rnb a day to stay in a hotel you know they just want it that way anyway let me know what you think about this would you stay in a hotel if you could afford you know some people say well you are eight people why squeeze yourself in a family and suite instead of at least then get different rooms for everybody each, each person their own room they're saying well we want to live as a family we don't want to be separated because of money because of anything we just want to live together like this we are going to stay like this forever don't want to move you know they said well this hotel you know there's some kind of hotels that offer such kind of long-term accommodation while some other hotels they, they, they have got limited days that you can stay in a hotel consecutively you know some hotels they have limited number of days that you can stay in a hotel you can end up even staying for forever as long as you pay their money every day they have no problem with you okay as long as you are going you are doing everything according to the law there is no problem with them so this family of eight decided to stay in a hotel and said well this is where we are going to be until further notice okay so chinese you know was like well as long as they're happy let them stay there you know we, who are we to judge them but we're like also saying maybe there's something this family is not telling the people there must be a reason why they cannot stay in their homes if they say they own six properties they've got a lot of money that is coming into their accounts every month then why are they staying in a hotel why why are they living the luxurious life of and the comfort of their own homes you know and deciding to stay in a hotel where they're squeezed in eight people in that family and suite staying together you know videos you know shows them you know some little blankets on the floor you know others on the couch and everything you know the hygiene everything eating and you you, you know what i'm talking about so like what is the reason there must be something that is happening to them but the family is saying well it's just the kind of lifestyle that we want remember i once shared with you a story of a young man who was staying in a shopping mall in the basement of a shopping mall under the stairs you know for a long time he stayed there for a long long time and they didn't even no one even knew that there was someone staying there he stayed there without even paying for electricity for rent for anything 
yes, it is the freely. So these kind of stories, you know, crazy as they may be, but they are happening. So I'm gonna be back again with more stories for you, my friends. You know, Chinese New Year is around the corner. The holiday is upon us. So we're going to be having a lot of free time for us to talk about this and more stories. So until I come back again with more stories, please subscribe and stay. And I'm gonna be back again just now to inform.